day, we're putting a rudder on the kayak. Finally going to quit fighting that wind. Finally going to get that control that we need. So, rudder on the back, but this is, this is real outdoors for real people, so it's not $300 off the shelf rudder. It's a cheap Amazon rudder. A little bit of customization, not much, but we're going to make it work. So as you can see, we picked up a few things. We've got our tubing that we're going to run through the body. Uh, that is what the steel cable is going to go through. Stainless steel cable, uh, 1 16th. I got some, uh, some carabiner uh, jam cam locks, however you want to call it. That's going to be used for the up and down of the rudder. Uh, I've got some crush crimp ties. I've also got some adjustable ones. As I'm trying to figure out, since I'm going to reuse the existing pedal, since I've taken a lock out of it and I'm going to use the existing without buying one, I've got to figure out the distance and where it is. So for then, I'm going to use these reusable ones. Uh, some extra paracord in case the uh, supply doesn't fit, pieces that came with it, some stainless steel bolts to mount everything. This is the rudder that I picked up, $31 off of Amazon. Came with the rudder paracord these pieces here and that piece of the bracket right there you can see that I JB welded to the aftermarket universal bracket for my kayak the reason I had to make that crazy modification is this pen this pen is too short but I might reach all the way so JB welded to that ultimately it's gonna go back to it all right, got the bracket we previously did. JB welded it together. Um, sheer strength, I mean, I can, oh, I can compress that bracket, so it's not gonna shear. I picked up some stainless hardware. go this end it has some tension I'm not gonna spread it yet but because of that spring load there's a little bit of drag now to get the tubing in Tubing, quarter inch bit. Oh, first hole only drilled in the kayak. This is painful. thicker and a lot deeper than I thought it was. Oh wow. Look at that with my drill laid in. Huh. Nice. So in case you're wondering, this is 50 foot of quarter inch vinyl micro tubing. This is actually in the um, irrigation aisle.
test. I don't know if this is as orthodox, but... I'll take these off. I'm gonna tell you, I think there's some form of Loctite. See what I mean? There's some form of Loctite. Here's where you gotta see how this thing comes apart. The lock is just snapped in the back. Go push. Boom. She's out. I think this has a good hold. And that's got it up nice and high. All right, with the locks popped out, I marked with chalk where I normally have mine locked. I come all the way up here that gives me extra cable I got these stops for fine-tuning the position there we go
pull this slack. There we go. That worked. See where we made the connections with the crimps, heat shrink tubing around it. You got a great range of motion with the pedals. Nice and smooth. deployment a little bit there's a lot of drag to it this is the maiden voyage with the new rudder at this point, I don't even know if y'all have seen the video of the rudder yet. Y'all may not have even seen it. But I am here to tell you... Wow, the steering is crazy. It is nuts. Absolutely crazy how responsive the kayak is to the rudder. You can spend all your time repositioning your feet to steer but granted there's no wind today and I got this mainly for the wind was my intent a little control but I'm tired of the wind just skipping me around this water spinning me today is the first day that I'm out with the rudder and it has been amazing um, if you don't have one on your kayak, if you are tired of fighting the wind, if you are a paddler like me uh, and you don't have a rudder, oh my gosh, you don't know what you're missing. So many people, so many people said it was the first mod they made to their kayak and they don't know how they ever lived without it. And I have to say, I'm right there with you.